Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Jeff Sexton coming to you from the 2015 S&P Insurance Conference where I'm joined by Deep Banerjee for a discussion of insurance companies and retirement products. Deep, thank you for joining us. Good to be here. Deep, you did a panel on retirement products. What's so interesting about what insurers and when it comes to insurance for retirement products? Yeah, so right now if you think of the demographics of the U.S., we are aging pretty quickly. Uh, today about 15% of the population is above the age of 65. Within another 10 to 15 years, that's going to be close to 20%. So there's a significant amount of people that are getting to an age where they believe they should be retiring. But unfortunately, data is also showing there's just not enough retirement assets that they have that they can retire on. So that brings in one perhaps not that great a news, but also an opportunity for insurance companies to provide products because there's a definite need in the marketplace. So when it comes to those products and the choices that these insurers make, what are we thinking from a credit perspective as regards those choices? Right, so opportunity, there's growth, uh, so there's top line growth, but from our perspective, we also look at the, the riskiness of the product that they're selling. Uh, so depending on whether it's institutional retirement products or like a 401k, 403b, or a direct retail product like a annuity that they're selling directly to an individual consumer, uh, riskiness differs. Uh, so we look at pricing of the products, we look at uh, long-term assumptions that they will use when they price these products. Uh, and more importantly, if you think of a life insurance company, you always think of mortality risk, like term life insurance. But these are not mortality risk related products, these are more longevity risk products, which brings with it a, a very different spectrum of risk that they have to price for. So those are the things that we look at when we try to analyze products that are sold in this marketplace. So in thinking about retirement products and the theme of our conference, is the reward worth the risk? What are some of the potential aspects that we should be thinking about when looking at the future? Yeah, so I, I mean, one thing we'll talk about at the conference is the, is the idea of innovation. You know, one of the things that is missing is just like in individual life insurance, also in retirement, the middle market doesn't have enough assets. So will there be innovative products that are going to come out either from insurance companies or from other financial institutions that will serve this underpenetrated middle market? So innovation is one. And second is, you know, U.S. has longevity risk, but, but if you think of markets outside the U.S. like U.K., U.K. pension reform has happened years back. So they're used to seeing products that are more aligned with longevity products. I think we just we are, we are in a process of seeing innovation, seeing newer products come into the market, and with that comes risk and reward. So we look forward to see how that works out. A lot to consider as we continue aging as a population and consider these products. Absolutely. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Deep, for joining us. Thank, so. you. Thank you from Standard & Poor's.